Hey guys, how are you? So today is April 11th and it is currently 137 and I am on my way for my first appointment and first session for laser hair removal. Now I am doing laser hair removal because I have excess hair in my face that I really don't like and it's a really big confidence dropper but I just don't feel comfortable when I have people that speak too close to me because afraid that they're gonna see like my hair on my face and it's a really big pet peeve of mine something that I really don't like about myself unfortunately and that's why I am going to be having laser hair removal so I'm just gonna be showing you how my hair looks like on my face I just got back from my first session of laser hair removal and let me say that I am super super impressed by the results in only one session so I am going to give you guys a close-up right now on my face but I wanted to talk a little bit about pain because I know that's a really big factor when it comes to laser hair removal because it is a laser that is penetrating your skin and is burning your hair follicles pain wise um I'm pretty good with pain. I have a high pain tolerance, but I figured it would be a little bit like a pinch, like a like a piercing that, for example, I've got in my septum pierce, and that's probably one of the most sensitive parts of your body, if not the most sensitive, because it's in your nostrils. You know, it's in this cartilage of your nose where it's pretty sensitive if you ask me. So I figured it would be like a sharp pain like that just a thousand times on my face but I mean for me in the beginning there's definitely some parts of the face where it's more sensitive than others for me I know this part closest to my ear was the most sensitive and my upper lip the upper lip area was like death it seriously hurt so much what they describe it as is just like if a rubber band is like you know when you stretch out a rubber band and then you just like let it go and like on your skin and it's like a little sting like that yeah that's pretty much what it feels like hi guys okay so first of all my camera is super dusty since I haven't touched it in such a long time literally it is collecting dust in the corner of my bed so I have to get back on jumping into videos but that will have to wait a little bit because I am going to be well when you watch this video um, I will be back already but I am going to be leaving to Spain um, to study abroad there and I'm gonna be gone for three weeks or so um, But when you guys see this video, I, I'll be back. So I don't even know why I even I don't know So today is gonna be my second session of laser hair removal. It is May 8th I have to say I am loving the results only with one session and Now I'm gonna be taking some photos like I did before um, some before and after photos of the results, which I'm in love with and I couldn't be any more happier with my results. So, um, here's the photos. Hey guys, so I am here. What was this? Cool. So guys, I am here on my second day of my second laser hair removal. It is May 10th, 2016, and I thought that I would record a second day video just to show the side effects per se laser hair removal does, um, especially on my skin. If you guys don't know, I do have sensitive skin. So when she starts dabbing the laser on my face, um, I get very red and so does my chest because I get anxiety and whatnot and I get nervous and also the buildup of my sensitive skin, what it does. So it turns red, it hurts, and it's a bitch. But apart from that, the pain tolerance on my second session wasn't as bad as my first. Um, the first round, it hurt way more on the sides. The cheek was fine, the neck didn't hurt as much, um, and then this time around, none of this hurt. Um, there was only minimal, minimal, like, on a scale from 1 to 10, like, 2 pain tolerance on this side here. Um, 
but then again there is an eight tolerance on my upper lip area that is the worst part of the whole session it's the one that hurts the most it's the most sensitive and the day after results are the most embarrassing and I'm gonna be showing you why they're the most embarrassing <laughs> And I also want to apologize for the mess in the back. I was recording another video for you guys, and that's why there's a mess. But I didn't, uh, I didn't have the patience to pick it up now because I'm just recording non-stop one after the other. So yeah. <laughs> so these are the effects of the day after of my laser hair removal. Um, these same effects happened the first time around and they happened again now. It's the only part of the face that gets really affected and it's really noticeable. So yeah, it is extremely embarrassing, but last time around it went away within um, a couple of days, like two or three days. Um, the effects subsided and my, my skin went back to normal and that's how I hope it is this time around. I might do moisturize the area. It's this one right here. <laughs> I don't know what that one is called, but you guys see it right here. Hey guys, so it is currently July 7th and it's 10.30 a.m. currently and I am fully dressed. Okay, so now that we got that cleared up, um, today is going to be my fourth session of laser hair removal and I am super excited. Um, there is a completely and huge difference from when I went the first time. To now. Now, I am gonna say the only part that I have noticed still darker hairs and growth of hair is my upper lip. I don't know if with how the camera setting is right now and all of that, if you can actually tell the hairs that I have. Um, but yeah, that's the only part that, it's, that has been super stubborn. I am just letting you guys know that I am super, super happy with the results thus far. So, Let's get on into the pictures. what's up today is August 20th it's around um, 8 30 in the morning and um, I'm about to go to my fifth consultation of laser hair removal so since my last laser hair removal it's been around seven six to seven weeks since then and it's you know a little bit more than I than I wait so there has been hair regrowth unfortunately especially my upper lip you guys will see that now in the um, pictures and a little a little bit around um, my cheeks and I know my chin has some my temples have a little bit obviously it's not as dark as it used to be nor is it as thick um, you can only see it if you get like really close to my face other than that I still am loving the results of my face the growth of hair isn't as thick nor is it as dark the hair has lightened and so has you know the feel it just it doesn't really feel like I have any hair 
but like I said, when I look in the mirror and I look like really close in the mirror, I can see the hair. But if we talk person to person, there's no way that you can see the hair that I have here, which is a little bit, it's not a lot. Hi guys, so I am back from my fifth session of laser hair removal. I just wanted to talk one on one before I show you the pictures of my after laser hair removal because I wanted to talk about that she amped the setting of the laser of the machine. She amped the setting a bit because I told her that I was seeing some like peach fuzz and a lot of like upper hair lip and I was just like, listen, like the hair is growing back, like what's going on? <laughs> So um, she amped it up a bit. I wish she would have done this sooner in the process um, than later because, you know, it's kind of useless at the end. But whatever, pain-wise, didn't really hurt more or less. It was just at the end that I just felt my face like more swollen and stuff. You'll see that a little bit more in the Snapchat that I send. And apart from that, that's pretty much it. Oh, plus, I was really like interested how many zaps, you know, it took my entire face and I counted. So. It was exactly 362 zaps. Yeah, 362 zaps of electricity hurting my hair follicles. Interesting. So, here you go. On to the pictures. So guys, I am apologizing for the reflection in my glasses. I know that can be really annoying. So today is April 3rd, 2017, and it has been exactly eight months since the last time that I did my laser hair removal. Today is my last session of laser hair removal, so I am super excited for that. But I'm a little bit disappointed because of the fact that hair grew back, which I don't know, is like not supposed to happen when you have laser hair removal because it's supposed to be efficient, you know, but I do take fault into the whole reason why the hair grew back because what I should have done was I should have gone to the dermatologist first of all before doing any laser hair removal and I should have done my blood work done for hormones and stuff like that, which could be a reason why I'm growing hair in my face, which is what I did now eight months later so officially I did go to the dermatologist and I got you know my results back my hormones are in the regular state you know they're they're where they're supposed to be but either way the dermatologist said that the reason why I have acne in my lower face and why I have so much excess hair on my face is probably a hormone problem and since hormones tend to change especially in women depending on you know our cycle and stuff like that it all just depends so I am currently now on a pill for that reason but either way today is my last session of laser hair removal and that is that so these are officially gonna be the last before and after pictures and that is all I hope that you guys enjoyed this extremely long video that I made but it is very informative and it's all about my process so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video Bye!